This is Alphabet City, I'm your guide Aya Zaktar, and you are the merry audience. Let's head on over to Android Avenue. Xiaomi's senior VP tweeted out a video showing off a new Android phone. The caption read, do you want a sneak peek at the future? Here you go. Introducing you to under display camera technology. In the video, you see two phones. On the right, you see a teardrop style notch for the front facing camera. On the left, just a regular looking screen with no cutouts or notches. The person operating the phone selects the front facing camera on the left and boom, there she is. No camera pops out of the phone or flips around. So what's the trick? The company said that when the selfie camera is activated, the display area over the camera lens becomes transparent in an instant, allowing light to enter. This could be the ultimate solution for a full screen display coexisting with a front camera. The company also said that all the tech used was developed in house. In an exploded view image, Xiaomi explained that there is a 20 megapixel camera under the display. The display itself doubles as the camera lens. In some rather bold wording, Xiaomi says the display embedded camera combo is able to produce perfect selfies. Xiaomi was not the only company showing off an under display camera. Take a look at this tweet by Oppo. It says, for those seeking the perfect notchless smartphone screen experience, prepare to be amazed. The attached video looks a bit lower quality and grittier than the one from Xiaomi. This demo features a phone on a table showing images on the full display. Then off camera, someone activates the front facing camera. You see a less than amazing shot of what looks to be the ceiling of the room. Exciting. Then a finger makes its on camera debut to the front facing camera. As the finger gets closer, the display shows the finger. One of the nicer things about Android phones is getting previews of tech concepts that we will probably see in the future. Some companies have a tendency to be secretive. Now that we've seen Xiaomi and Oppo touting their under display cameras, there are a whole set of questions that pop up. How well do these under display cameras capture pictures and video? The videos offered by the two companies are not the highest quality, so it's pretty difficult to tell. It would be nice to see some still images and videos taken by either device. How many cameras can fit under display? Well, we've seen a grand total of one so far with that Xiaomi exploded view. What other kinds of tech can fit under the display? Maybe iris scanning or 3D face scanning? This would depend on what kind of impact the transparent section has on the display as well. The Oppo demo showed stills of complex patterns that would make it difficult to see an area that looks different from the rest of the display. The Xiaomi video showed what looked to be a uniform red and black color on the top where the camera would be. Now, which of these two companies is more likely to bring this tech to market first? This is an educated guess, but I would pick Oppo. The company developed the odd shark fin style pop-up camera on the Reno. There was also the slick slider phone, the Find X. Also, do you remember the Vivo Nex? It was the first phone to include an in-screen fingerprint sensor. Vivo is owned by BBK, which also owns OnePlus and Oppo. I'd imagine that BBK companies operate under a similar structure, get new kinds of products out fast. Okay, that's great. But when will one of the bigger tech companies come out with the same tech? Let's focus on Samsung. We know that the company is working on the technology. Take a look at this presentation slide from Samsung Display's OLED Forum 2018. You can see the UPS section for the under panel sensor. The same slide showed a fingerprint on display, which did make its way to the S10. Where and when can we expect the UPS on a Samsung device? These days, the A series seems to be the safe bet. The A series is starting to feel like Samsung's farm league. When a feature is ready, it moves up to the main roster. If the image quality is not great on the front facing camera, it's not necessarily the worst news since the A series is a mid range device. On an expensive phone, people may be less forgiving. Samsung brought four cameras to the A9 and the Infinity O display to the A8 before they ended up elsewhere. I'd say we'd see the UPS at Samsung in under two years. As an aside, LG and Apple also have patents on under display cameras. On to Comment Code. This is the part of the show where we shine a spotlight at the most amazing audience in the world, you guys. Here's what you guys had to say about the Note 10. Axel says, I doubt Samsung will use mechanical cameras in their premium line. It would make it far more difficult 
to get IP68 certified, whereas the A series is where they can implement their gimmicks and experiments without much restraint. I mean, they're already trying to develop under display cameras and other sensors, so that'll most likely be their next solution to full screen designs. Wiener Dogman Paul says, the Note 10 is looking very disappointing. Actually, in my opinion, it's pretty much just going to be the S10 with a pen. Simar says, worst Note design ever. Thanks to everyone for writing in. If you've enjoyed your stay in Alphabet City, please like and subscribe. I'm Aya Zaktar, and I'll see you online.